So now we're going to look at a feature that I personally have been waiting for a long time. It's the ability to now add rubrics to your assignment. Now this, I think, is a game changer. So let me show you how we can do this now. So I'm going to go into classwork and I'm going to create a new assignment. And let's click on assignment here. And, and I'm going to create an assignment that's called Macbeth. Okay, so there's my beginnings of my assignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create. I'm going to go to docs. That's going to create my new Google Doc. It opens up a blank one. I'm going to choose Macbeth. And that's my template. I'm not going to put anything else in the document. And then I'm going to close it. Now, it says untitled document, but that will change when you submit it and assign it to the students. I want to assign it to every student in the classroom. So let's make a copy there for every student. I'm going to just make it sure it goes to my class. I want all students to have it. I'm going to keep it at 100 points. I'm not going to give it a due date. And I'm just going to create a topic. And I'm going to call the topic Macbeth. OK, so now we've got this option of rubric. Now, this is a wonderful feature that I encourage you to use. So I'm going to click on rubric and it's going to ask if I want to create a new one, reuse one that I've already done in the past or import from Google Sheets. So to start with, I'm going to choose create rubric. Now, this opens up this screen. Now, we can click on scoring and not scoring. So if I turn off scoring, all right, it takes the scoring element out. I'm going to use scoring. I'm going to keep it at descending order where the highest number of points comes first. So I need to put my criterion title. So I've got one here that I want to use. So I'm going to choose my first criteria as neatness. So let's copy that and paste it in here. And then my description would be how neat is your homework? So let's copy that and put it in here. Obviously, you can type them out. Now, number of points, this is going to be four points for this. My level title, let's go back to my rubric. So this is exceeded. So this is if they've done extremely well. So let's put exceeded in here. And the description of that, we can copy and paste this description here. So like so. So that's my first criteria. So let's now add another one. So we're going to add our three and then expected. So this would be three level would be expected description. Here, I'm just going to go through these quickly now. OK, so there is my first criteria. I can add another criterion here, but in the interest of time, I'm just going to keep to one, but we'll come on to doing a little bit more later. Now I can click on save. So now my rubric is set here like so. OK, now you may be in a situation where you just want to create this in a Google Sheet. Now, the way to do that would be to click on it. There is my criteria and then I can go up to here. Then I can export that to sheet. So if I click on export now, that's going to export it. And then I can click on view. Here is my exported sheet. So what I could do, I could potentially now just change these and then import that into my assignment when I want to import it. So I've got one here that I I did earlier, which is got more criteria. So you, as you can see here, this is a homework one and I've got four more here. So what I could do is import that. So I'm going to do that now for you. I'm going to close that rubric down and then I'm just going to delete this rubric. I don't actually want that anymore. So I'm going to delete that. So what I can do is add rubric, import from sheets, and then it's going to go to my sheets and we're going to look for my homework rubric. There it is. And then add that there like so. And now you can see it's imported everything. Now, it's important that you actually get the template for this correct. So what I have done is I'm going to put a link to this rubric in the notes of this video. So you can click on that link and you can then make a copy. 
all right, of this particular homework rubric. So then you can adjust it to how you want. So feel free to click on the link within the notes in the description below this video. So now I've got my rubric, there it is. And just a few other points here. Over here, you've got the option to delete the criteria, move it down, duplicate the criteria if I wanted to. And then in the corner here, you can delete the, 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 the whole rubric if you want to. So let's click on save. And now my rubric has been attached to my assignment. Now let's assign that rubric. Here is my Macbeth assignment. And you can see that's actually appeared in my stream as well. So now let's go to the student view. Okay, so here is my student view. You can see my Macbeth one here. So I could click on that if I wanted to, or I can go into classwork. There is my Macbeth here. So I'm going to access it from my student view. So let's click on that. And the student can now see the different criteria that's needed to complete this assignment. So let's click on this drop down menu and we can see here what the student needs in order to complete this assignment. So to get the four points, uh, they need to make sure that their homework is orderly and neat and it's easy to read and navigate. Again, we've got the completion here. So the student can see what's necessary and needed to complete this assignment, which I think is a really powerful feature. So as a student, I'm going to open up my document and then I'm going to write my essay. There is my essay now as a student. Now what I can do is I can click turn in and that's going to turn my assignment in and I can then click hand in. Now that's now handed in to the teacher so the teacher can now grade that assignment. So let's go back to the teacher view now. So here's my teacher view. Let's click on Macbeth. You can see there's one here handed in. So let's look at that one. Here we go, Bart Simpson, and let's click on that assignment. Now this is going to list all the students within the classroom. So we can list them all here by clicking on this drop down menu. We've also got the option to go back and forth using these arrows. So here is my assignment. At the top here, this option here lists all the files associated to this assignment. So for example, if this assignment also consisted of creating a spreadsheet or a Google Slides presentation, all of those things can be added here. And as a teacher, you'd be able to see the list here. In this case, there's only one document. And we can also open that document in full screen in a separate window if we wanted to by clicking this item here. The next option down here, we can see this is our rubric. So as a teacher, I can decide what this student has achieved for this rubric. So let's click on here. Now I think it says expected and for completion, they completed it. For timeliness, they completed it on time. And for content, well, I'm gonna say emerging for this one. So then we can look at this. We could actually add a private comment, well done, and then post. Now that post is now gonna go back to the student. Then I can go up to the top here and I can click return and I can return that back to the student. So click on return and that has now been returned to the student. So let's go back to the student view now. You can see here, here is the private comment. As a student now, I can respond to that if I want to. I can see the different scores from my rubric. So I've got 13 out of 16 here. And as a percentage, I've got my score at the top here, 81.25% out of 100. So it's actually calculated the percentage relevant to the number of points in my rubric. So I can have a look at these, I can, I, I can see this, and then what I can do as a student, I can go back into my work and I can see if I can go and improve this. But also as a student, I can add other things to it if I wanted to. If I click on add or create, I can add other documents to this if I wanted to. If I had a link, if I'd created something that involved a link, maybe a video or something, a YouTube video, I could add the link to here. If I created a file, maybe it was a PDF, and I wanted to add that, I could add that here as well. I could also create other documents. I might have a, a, a Google Slides presentation that I want to add uh, to enhance my assignment. So that's adding a rubric within an assignment within Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time.
Goodbye.